we were just best friends, Easy and I, but she she was like family to me even then. And to have my brother and Easy, my best friend, not even being able to be around each other. And I couldn't even go to anybody about it because nobody knew. Y'all didn't know. I had to just smile in front of the camera. Like, y'all have no idea. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big, period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. So, today's reaction video, you guys, I just want to kind of dive into this whole Easy and Natalie thing with their brother or her brother that's going on. So, this is coming from Easy and Natalie's YouTube channel. This video is called Breaking My Silence My Brother vs. My Girlfriend. She, when I first heard of this situation, I thought that. You know, this can't be real, you know, because I just thought that her family was supportive. Now, I did watch the video. Remember when they officially announced that they were going to be together and they were calling their family members? And yeah, I remember that video and I was trying to remember how he reacted. I don't know. I really can't remember. So, I mean, obviously, fast forward, it, it was a problem. At the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, Natalie is in the middle because it sucks to have your partner and someone in your family member not get along because you are in the middle. And that just is a sucky ass, bummy ass feeling right because you just want everybody to get along even if they don't really favor each other like why it has to be beef right so i'm not sure how deep the beef went and if i am missing a video before this video that you think i should go watch put it down in the comment section you guys but this is where we're gonna start off from so yeah um let's see what natalie has to say and how she's feeling also uh easy went live last night which was February the 5th. This video is from February the 2nd. So Easy went live last night and just said that, you know, uh, <clears throat> Jesus, and said to send Natalie, you know, some love and some support because she was really going through something um, that she doesn't share with everybody. And as it should be, I just feel like as YouTubers, you know, we don't have to, like, we do share a, a big portion of our life with you, but we shouldn't have to share everything with you. Until the time is right, you know what I'm saying? Um, so whatever it is that she's going through, I definitely want to send some love, some support, some whole lot of great vibes over to Natalie. Um, let her know, you know what I'm saying, she's going to get through it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that she's been through worse. And if this is the worst of the worst, God don't give us nothing that we can't overcome. Okay, so yeah, let's get into this video. Big period. They were both being extremely selfish, egotistical, and childish. I honestly felt like my freaking heart was being ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then... Oh, shit. She looks so stressed out. I've tried to make this video a million times. I know you guys are waiting for me to say something, but I don't know what to say. For the past couple of years, Easy and my brother have been beefing behind closed doors and sometimes even in front of everybody. But it was always just subtle, you know, questionable whether or not they were really, you know, going through it or not right. behind closed doors. I've been really emotionally going through it. You look like it, boo. To have two people that you love mm -hmm. at each other's throats all the time. I can't even describe to you what that feels like. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. To have to feel to constantly have to feel like you have to choose. And all the time I'm choosing one of them. I wasn't choosing myself. Mm. I wasn't paying attention to how I was feeling and how it was literally tearing me down. How it was affecting my mental health. Sometimes I would literally feel sick to my stomach. And you know, with her saying that, I just feel like 
Easy and her brother should have also took some type of accountability and just thought like, dang, how is this affecting Natalie? You know what I'm saying? She's the one in the middle. Like her brother should be like, I'm her brother. How does it make her feel that she has to choose? But I'm pretty sure when you beefing, you ain't even thinking about. You ain't even thinking about that stuff. It's physically affecting me. The sad part is Easy and Josh used to be really close. Mm. Her and I were best friends, but so were they. They were inseparable because we were inseparable. Sometimes when you mix business with pleasure, um, it just doesn't mix right. When we started doing the family project together, I don't know, things started uh, getting like weird between Josh and Easy. They started getting too comfortable. You know how it is when you're around somebody all the time and you guys start getting on each other's nerves and bickering turns into arguing and one day it just went too far. They argued and said things to each other that they couldn't take back. Really nasty and hurtful things. Mm. And from then, that was it. The family project was over, and so was the relationship. And honestly, it felt like so was my sanity. We were just best friends, Easy and I, but she, she was like family to me even then. And to have my brother and Easy, my best friend, not even being able to be around each other. And I couldn't even go to anybody about it because nobody knew. Y'all didn't know. I had to just smile in front of the camera. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, y'all have no idea. what that does to a person. I thought that finally that was coming to an end. I thought that maybe the end of this horrible freaking dream was near and maybe we were going to be a family again. My brother invited Easy to Christmas and Easy actually said yes and for once in a really long time, they were both on the same page and trying to move forward. And I felt so much relief. Christmas went great, you know. They, you guys saw it. They bought each other gifts and everything. Then my brother decided to put out a video. Um, he pranked us. For those of you that don't know, Josh pranked Easy and I. And in the prank, obviously the prank, obviously it was too freaking soon, bro. He decided to prank us, basically talking crap about Easy. And why would he even do that? It triggered Easy. Easy got really upset. You know, you know how you forgive somebody but you never forget? Mm hmm. I think maybe that was like one of those situations where. Easy forgave him and maybe was taking that step not necessarily for herself so maybe Easy wasn't even thinking about herself during the whole Christmas time she was thinking about Natalie was like oh it's your brother he invited us and then she wanted to do that for maybe her because she knew that it had been a long time since they all been together and being cool and being cordial but why would he do that why would he why would he prank not just prank Natalie and like have easy involved I don't I don't know to prank someone in a way where y'all real life had that moment like she already said they had a moment where they were going back and forth with each other and saying things that, that they couldn't take back so why even prank someone in that way that just don't even make any sense <laughs> easy felt hurt by the stuff that Josh was saying again you know and uh, my brother posted it anyway Mm. My brother decided to post it. He must need and some Easy content. And he decided to post a video about basically how she doesn't like Josh. Oh, shit. Basically telling the world what has happened. So I know Josh 
and easy sat down and had a conversation amongst themselves and i think i see like a little snippet where they hug was this after this or before this let me know in the comment section going on between them for the past two years all of this happening in front of the entire world josh responded now trashing easy after she trashed him tit for tat is not good I literally couldn't believe it. Neither of them talked to me about this. Neither of them were thinking about me mm -hmm. and what the, and what this was going to do to me. What this was going to do to our relationship. My relationship with Easy, my relationship with Josh. They were both being extremely selfish. Egotistical and childish. Mm. I honestly felt like my freaking heart was being ripped out of my chest when I saw those videos. And then Easy um, decided to go to Miami. In the midst of everything, in the midst of the videos going out, on top of it, basically questioning whether or not she can be with me because of her relationship with my brother. Mm. The sucky part is this trip was supposed to be something that was, you know, going to be good for us, for our relationship. We've been working so hard and... I don't know. You know, we were going to celebrate with my mom, but it Wait. didn't go anywhere. So was this the Miami trip with the group case? Or was this a Miami trip for them? Um, right now, I'm a little lost, but I'm just going to listen. Near as I expected it to. I saw the video um, of Josh and Easy talking. Mm. Whenever we got back from Miami, first and foremost... I'm just surprised that they actually sat down to talk. You know, I was happy to see that, but not happy to see them arguing the way that they did. Right. The resolution being, you know, that they apologized to each other and stuff. And I mean, that's amazing. You know, it's amazing that they were able to do that. I just wish they would have been able to do that before dragging our relationships through the mud all over social media. Mm. There's been so much damage done at this point. You know, so much embarrassment. So many things said that cannot be taken back. I'm just drained, you know. Like, I know I have to talk to both of them about everything. And that's draining. I, I, just, I just don't know what to say. And I don't know, like, at what point do I, like, draw the line, like, mentally, like, you know, at what point do I say, like, all right, I gotta look out for my mental health because at this point, I don't think I can take any more, any more of this unstable relationship between the two of them. Not unstable. Any more of being thrown under the bus. Any more of easy being able to question where we stand, right? Because of her issues with my brother, right? Any more of the separation. That sucks when you have a partner that's not getting along with your family member, but you still feel like you're being punished, like you're being punished for that. That sucks because it's kind of like, well, that's your brother, or that's your whoever it is. That sucks. Damn that. We're having to choose between the two of them. I honestly don't know um, what's going to happen at this point, guys. I, I just, I guess I just wanted to record this for those of you that were concerned um, and wanted to hear from me basically what I'm going through and how I'm feeling about everything. 
um, you know, thank you. Thank you to everybody who have been concerned and actually thought about me through this because that means a lot, you know. My real and true supporters, like I've, I've noticed So, yeah, I'm kind of like out of the loop, but I'm also in the loop. I understand, but I didn't, then yet again, I don't understand. Hopefully this next video will help me understand. The next video is actually when her and it, her and Easy comes together and have a conversation. And that video is called Finally Talking to My Girlfriend After Breakup. And um, that was recorded the next day that natalie made this video so if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give this video a like a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my channels because i have more than one i have three so make sure you subscribe to my channels um share my content you guys and yeah that video finally talking to my girlfriend after the breakup now i'm pretty sure again today is only the six so this was like three days ago so this is like a fresh wound on the leg that's like bleeding through the band-aid yeah that happened to me at the gym today i was uh i slipped i slipped and i scraped my shin to the white meat my shower was a little painful but you know i had to clean it i had to clean that and now i just feel like i'm stretching the skin which is just making it bleed i don't know but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video once again. I love you. Have a great day. Be blessed. And I'm signing out in this video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. Catch you slipping. Best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J-Vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. She buying seven rings like I'm Ariana. Yeah,